Okay, so let's change the rotation. There we go. Excellent. Look at that. Nice. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We play Seven Days to Die Modded, and we're back with War of the Walkers, and I just got surprise mobbed, hence my, my th thirst and hunger are halfway. So um, I had a bunch of army dudes which sadly disappeared, which makes which is which is sad. They ganked me. I didn't even hear them coming. I was kind of focusing, contemplating what we're gonna do in this episode, and um, they jumped me. And they're gone now, because once you die, they kind of disappear, which is a shame, because it would have been nice loot, like, from all the army guys. Anyway, what are we going to do today? Today, we're trying not to die. We're going to complete the tower, and hopefully the basic part of the outer wall. Now, for the outer wall, um, I'm not going to do it like this. This is, like, kind of the inner sanctum, which is going to be cheap. When I say cheap, I mean, like, cheap design, as in it will definitely work against a horde, yeah? Um, but on the outside, we're going to do something that kind of works both ways, but looks a little bit better. We're going to probably use the roundish diameter 50, 50 poles so that we can hit the zombies if we want, but it looks kind of nicer. Anyway, we're going to continue working on that. I hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. All right, because we don't have a rebar bender yet, we can't uh, do a lot of the blocks with rebar frames. And somebody was saying about the ladder. Yes, absolutely. For this part here where the wall is going to come in, yeah, we will, um, let me actually turn on the light. We will uh, replace these half blocks with full blocks, obviously, because we want to get them into the wall, yeah. But what? so what we're going to do is we, actually, we might not even have to. Let me just think about that. We only had to do that down here. Hmm, okay, let me actually... Oh, do we not have a nail gun? Can we make a nail gun? I have the recipe, but can we make it? I think we can make a nail gun. I have repair kits, I have the nail gun. Actually, do you know what? Do we have a D, HD, HD, HD nail gun? Ah, uh, we don't have the recipe for that, but we have the recipe for nail gun. Okay, first mission first, nail gun. But the idea is to have these guys here because they will be the outer wall, fully upgraded to concrete. Yeah, reinforced concrete. Now, I can make most of the shapes already with rebar, but we don't have a rebar bender, so, well, ugh, yeah. Anyway, also, by the way, the lighting, I have set it up. Now, I got my light finally delivered, which is absolutely amazing, yeah. So, um, it's a little light, and it's not that bright. Well, I have it toned down a bit. So, when I turn it off, you can see it's only slightly dim, and it's daylight outside in the moment, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. But I have it on because it kind of helps a little bit, like, to make everything a little bit crisper, and I don't have to turn my settings up on my camera that much that they take all the frames and create that stutter and the blurriness anyway so it should be looking a lot better from now on now i don't usually record during the daytime because i come home later from work at night and i record at night so if the light fluctuates a little bit in the videos uh, that you see today it's because i'm recording them during the daytime and when clouds move over and shit like that it's the, the light outside fluctuates so it can be fluctuating a little bit so i made it a little bit brighter indoors now with the light um because my light i have on now already is it's pretty crap Anyway, so I just thought I mentioned that in case you guys were wondering um, about the different lighting. Not that you care or anything, but I just thought I mentioned it because I do like to make sure that people understand that I do make an effort to try to make things better. Anyway, so we don't have a rebar bender, so we can't do a lot of things. But, 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 but what we're going to do here on the outside is I want to make the 50 diameters. So we're not going to finish the wall today, um, actually. We're going to replace these guys, though, with rebar. Um, there we go. This concrete. And not only that, we're actually going to go down one. We will be using the auger. And we will be making a nail gun then to upgrade them. But there we go. Let me just go one more underneath. There we go. Okay. And then another one. Nice. And that is just so in case they start digging down or we get a cop or something like, you know. Can we one-shot dirt yet? Because that would be absolutely fantastic if we could. Because I don't like using the auger for little things like that. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, balls. We still have 14 left. Come on, give me that minor 69er. Where is that minor 69er? Oh, my balls. It's still so far away. Mining tools 80. What is our mining tool set? It has to be, like, I mean, 
Oh yeah, okay, we're, ne we're nearly there and we're absolutely burning up. So let's put on something cool. There we go, nice. Okay, so the idea is to have um, this here double uh, protected. So we're gonna go down one, that should be enough. And then I want to have the 50 diameter poles probably. Or, or because we have so many options with the Reba now, if we look at the recipes, yeah? So we can make the Reba pillar 50, 50, which I was going to use, but then, 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 I saw the Reba 8th frames, yeah? But I don't want the 8th frames. There is another one, which is basically like a pole, but twice as big. And is it the Reba pole? No, that's the Reba pole centered quarter frame. I think that's the one. If we use the quarter frames, I think we can make a nice straight, um, depending if they get flush with the outside, that would be awesome. We have just enough of a gap to hit everything in the face, but at the same time, it will be, oh my balls, it just got very foggy noggy. Oh ho ho. Oh, I love the light. Look at this. It's so beautiful. This is apocalypse worthy. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So you know what I mean with the with the rebar though, yeah. Uh, sorry, with the with the blocks though. And we're not gonna do them sideways because the inner sanctum is gonna be like hoard hoard safe, where I don't care if it's a cheap design, it's supposed to hold back a massive hoard. End of story. This is going to go as cheap and cheerful as possible, as in cheap, not in in cheap as in material cost, cheap as in I don't care if we're cheesing it basically, yeah. But this here on the outside is more for looks, and if they break through there, that's fine. We're gonna keep repairing it or whatever. So let's put these guys down. and um, upgrade them and then I'm gonna make a nail gun after that and we'll see if we have the materials. I also want to go in the morning to the trader again because day 16 he gets fresh stuff and day 16 was today, I just haven't gotten back, which means we should see new items um, in the trader um, next time we go there, which means we might get a battery bank or we might even get a Reba Bender and all that jazz. I don't know. We haven't been looting really a lot in the last couple of episodes. So because we're trying to focus on the base in the moment and um, we are going to have to do a loot run where we go through houses because we're probably going to find a Reba Bender in one of the workstations or whatever the, the you know, the... Um, working tool stiffy and all that stuff so there we go this is going to be the wall let me just see this is going to be the wall and then on the outside of this we will have um zombies zombie dogs or whatever sorry um we will have spikes upside down because of the zombies and zombie dogs and then we're gonna do this design similar to this here on the outside basically yeah but that will be in a while like we, we're not gonna do this right now or anytime soon so this is just gonna be something in the long run so but this is so we can be flush on the inside with everything else there we go nice and this being wood is absolutely fine wood is cheap i can make it quickly we have we just kill a couple of trees and that's it so that's why i'm using wood and then we just paint it to whatever and if we find that these guys get destroyed a lot we're gonna replace them with uh, something tougher but not concrete because concrete is too expensive it takes too long to make we're probably gonna do something like brick or just cobblestone and paint over it so i think it's time for the nail gun guys Ah, there's a bummer. We can't really make it. Um, it probably has to be making the advanced tool workbench, which we can't do until we have the trade class, uh, tradesman class mastered, which we can't until we find the fragments. So again, progress halted by RNG and not by skill. <laughs> anyway, oh, life is not fair. Is this going to be faster if we do that? I don't know. Let's try. I think, sorry, I think the, the this might be faster. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a bit wishy-washy because of the stupid fog, but hey-ho. Oh, we can't use that. Of course we can't use that. That's, I forgot that. War of the Walkers changed it, so you have to use this. Yes, 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 yes. I can also just see my drink is going down. Um, okay, so let me... We have to upgrade this tower, so, but I can't make all the shapes yet. So what I want to do is here, I actually want to leave the half block if that works, but I don't want to upgrade it yet. But uh, this is the small wedges, I think. Let me see what that looks like from the top. Yeah. So we upgrade that one um, manually. Um, we have enough of um, iron, so that should work nicely. 
There we go. And the half blocks, I'm not upgrading yet because I'm not sure if I have to replace them with full blocks on the inside parts. So we're not going to do that yet. But um, these guys here, um, they're going to be... I don't know yet. However, another thing that I was work that I was thinking about was to leave this part here out. Yeah, this corner part. And maybe have between this and this have this hollow, if you know what I mean. And then just walk in. But I think I want this actually to be a full tower. It was just something that crossed my mind. If it would make sense to make it hollow, that we could basically go up and down on the inside and get out in and out of the towers here. But I think I want to leave them full so that if the zombies start hitting the wall, which they will, they really will take forever to get through and that we have enough time to get up and about and uh, shoot them all in the face. So I'm actually inside. I forgot I left it actually hollow because I was too lazy to build it all up originally. I just wanted to see what it looked like. So this is the ground. And um, over here, I already put down for the wall in preparation uh, the extra block. And this is the below ground floor in case they dig through. So just going to upgrade that. And then we're going to put another layer on top of that. So we could theoretically leave that hollow. Absolutely. And then on the top here, we could have a... Whatchamacallit? A rebar. A rebar frame. Uh, not a rebar. An iron bar top. So if the zombies do get in, we can just knock them out cold. And then we're just going to upgrade all of that to steel. And that way, once they get through the wall, if they ever happen to get through the wall, because we can upgrade that to steel as well, then we have them caught here and we throw down a lot of cocktails, we put right in the middle um, a hatch, and that's it. So I think that would be a good idea. There you go. Okay, so I think we have the center part of... Um, oops. This is the middle here, okay, where we're going to have another tower. And then we're going to have another one out there. So in the middle, let me see here. So if we're coming from the center, we're going to have the half block here. And we are going to... This block will be half in it. So on this top here, let me just go to the middle. So here we will have the half block, I think. Okay, excellent. And then from that half block, let me just see here. So half block and then one, two, three is the middle. Excellent, okay. One, two. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of digging. Make a little bit of room. Oh, that was me breaking the grass there on the top. I thought it was somebody else. Also, did you see my new t-shirt? You guys are amazing. You actually recommended uh, a website to me that was selling a temporary t-shirt. And it absolutely fits. It is very, very Irish colors. And it says the shenanigate, the shenanigator. And it's a person who instigates shenanigans. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for the t-shirt. I love the little, uh, little um, thing. Uh, I mean, I say, say thank you. I bought it. I paid for it myself. But thank you very much for letting me know about the site because it was a temporary offer. And um, in the sense that the t-shirt is gone now. So uh, you might be able to order it from somewhere else or something. I have no idea. But the website I got it from has like different designs rotating or something. And that design was uh, in its last uh, couple of days or something. It was like for the month at the month of uh, February or something or... I don't know. And so we had to wait for the time to finish after I ordered it and then they were delivering it. So it arrived yesterday. This is really, really cool. So I really enjoy that because it's like a word I would use, like shenanigator. <laughs> Which is really awesome. Okay, so three. There we go. That's the middle. And then from the middle, we go two out in all directions. And okay, I'm going to do that with the auger now because that is just taking way too long time. Good. All right. Sweet. <laughs> and then one, two. There we go. All 
All right, and that is perfect. And then I think here we're gonna have these guys. So let me turn them around. There we go. Ah, I can't see which way they're facing. Oh man, it's so hard to see. Come on, sideways, there. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. I don't even know what that is facing at. And then... We need one more facing that way. There we go. I think that's it. It's so hard to see. Excellent. Nice. And then... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's supposed to be half, half line. Ugh, oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, I'm so glad I haven't upgraded any of them yet. Oh, my balls. I made it completely wrong. The center of it's supposed to be there. Oh, man. I'm so glad I spotted that before I started upgrading everything. That would have been so terrible. Okay, so that's... Oh, my balls. If this is the center... <laughs> it's supposed to go one, two, out in all directions here. And wherever we go, this is going to be fully upgraded to concrete. So let me go ahead here. Nice. And let's upgrade these guys. <sighs> I'm so glad I noticed that. This is the middle, yeah. Middle, one, two. And then we're going to go... Oh, my balls. And center and one, two. Nice. And here we go. And then from the center again. Okay, we're gonna have to upgrade all of these. Okay. One, two, and then bam, 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 bam. Excellent. Oh man, what a hard take. That would have been so bad because I would have had it offset and it would have annoyed me so much. I would have literally destroyed it all. Because you know yourself, like, you know, you do these things and then you go, no, why did I do this? No. <laughs> it's like the pain, the agony of knowing it's not the same. It's not the way it's supposed to. And this actually shouldn't be upgraded yet, balls, because I actually said I'm going to leave it hollow. Ah, you see, I have I have it hollow here. That is right. So this is not going to be upgraded. No, 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 no. Ah, balls. Ah, well, we have another. We're going to have the outside upgraded, but that's about it. So these guys here, they will be upgraded. Oh, that was nice. That was lovely how that fit. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And we're going to have also this here all upgraded to concrete in a perfect square. But first, we're going to have to place these guys here. Okay, this is this corner over here. And that will get fully upgraded. And now... What is that corner? That is... That is that again? That is so weird. Okay, let me see. Come on. I don't have all the time in the world. I really wish they would have a shift left click or something like, you know, to rotate it all back the other way. That is really what is missing. Oh, right. And um, here then, on the outside, we're going to have the... Half blocks, whatever they're called. These guys here, the wedges. Yes, we're going to have to make some more wedges. Oh, no, we have wedges here. So the half blocks go here. They go here. And here. 
Yes. Because this is the wall, obviously, it's going to continue there, absolutely. And then we have... On that side as well. Yeah, you can see it here. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. And then we have one more over here. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to have the wedges coming off that side here. Um, Yeah, we're going to have the wedges here as well. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It took so long to get this right. It's... I'm sorry. Come on, sideways. Go sideways. Okay, this wedge goes here. Well, it doesn't really go here. It's gonna go here. And... This one goes here. This one goes over here. And probably... Yeah, excellent, yes. And then here... Excellent. Look at that. Nice. So we have everything covered here. <laughs> I think, I think, I think this is right. I'm not sure. Let me see. So this is where the half block sits on this one. Yeah, that's right. It's right. It's exactly perfect. It is. And then these guys here, I can't move this because that will get destroyed. Yeah, so I have to be careful about that. So this is going to become a concrete one. This is going to become a concrete one all the way to here nice okay this is how it's gonna work and then this guy here is gonna go a little bit deeper continue the wall there we go nice Oh, I'm so sorry. That was so long, uh, long-winded. I'm really sorry. Um, I don't. I do usually edit a lot of that stuff out. But as I said last time, people like kind of to see how it comes together and how I line it up. So I probably won't show you more than this. As in, I will build most of the towers now off camera, or I show you parts of it only, and the rest is gonna be done automatically. So, oh, we're missing some wedges here. We never actually put the wedges down here. Whoops. Here's a tip for you, and I completely forgot about that. If you have cobblestone rocks, make it in flagstone because uh, the shapes that you can't do in rebar frame yet, or in general, if you play vanilla, you can't do in rebar. Don't do what I did with wood, where you need to upgrade them with wood, 40, uh, 12 me iron, another 40 iron and another 40 iron. Just do it in, in, in cobblestone rocks because cobblestone rocks, half blocks, it's actually something you can do. So you just do a couple of them and do a couple of the wedges. You can do them all in cobblestone rocks. And that way you only need to upgrade them once with cobblestone rocks. And then you can move straight away to concrete mix once you have it. So no need to go through all the wood nonsense that I just did. <laughs> um, which one is the wedges and which one is the half block? Flagstone, half block. Okay, they were both half blocks. And then we have the wedges, uh, the wedge tips here. So if we go to the wedge tips... <sighs> Rotate them. See, now we can actually take this out. There's no point uh, keeping the wood versions and wasting so much resources to actually keep them upgraded. All of it. There you go. Nice. And the same here. Let's change the rotation. There we go. And then all you have to do is upgrade them to, um, where's my hammer? Oh, you're already moaning again. You're too hot, you're too cold, you're too hot, you're too cold. Here we go. And then after that, it will be just an upgrade to concrete mix, which we don't have yet. But it's cheaper than all that iron and all that nonsense. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, like, you know, that's so much iron. And I was like, why well, don't know? you just use flagstone? Okay, so let's change the rotation. There we go. Excellent. 
Excellent. Look at that. Nice. <sighs> All right. Do the same here. And then we're going to go, um, as I said, we're going to meet at the trader. I'm going to see if I have some more concrete mix. I think I have some cement that I queued up. And we need to go on a, on a stone grind. We have so little stone left. Um, I don't think I have a lot of stone. What do I have? I have about nothing. I have about 48 on me and then loads of cement still here. I'm making more cement, but we don't have stones to actually make more concrete mix in the moment. Holy balls. Yeah, we're going to have to go on a grind. One of the easier wandering horse, which is fantastic. There we go. Nice. Oh, lovely. And that's it. There you go. That's all. That's all there is to it. You can loot them all in a nice line. Maybe we even loot something that... Oh, nice. There was a fragment. Love it. Give me more fragments. Give me more fragments, please. Ah, come on. You know you want to give me a fragment. Ah, oh, we hit each other at the same time. Balls. I think that's it. Is it not usually two hordes that spawn or something? Of two different types? No? Okay. Ah, uh, we got another A one. Ah, uh, Genie Mac, why do you always get an A one? Such an A pain. <laughs> there we go, nice. There's still something going schnitzel schnitzel. Oh, okay, so he's still burning because he hasn't despawned yet. Okay. Now he has. Very good. Oh. Yeah, the fragment was from the silly fighter class, um, so, eh, we already have, like, loads of them. This, this is the thing now, yeah, I really love this mod, and I said that on stream, actually, on Friday as well. If you don't know, I'm streaming Fridays and Sundays, uh, seven days to die on Twitch. I actually want to try streaming on YouTube once in a while. Um, oh, sorry, I missed my airdrop. I want to try streaming on YouTube. Um, oh, it's here. On YouTube, um, the... The other War of the Walker season, you know where we built the big base? That, I actually... Oh, I think we have to kill one more animal. I think that was one of the quests here. Come on. Ah, come on. I know I could just drive closer, but that's fun as well. Oh, no, we actually already did that. Ah, yes, 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 yes. We did that in the last episode, I think. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm streaming Fridays and Sundays, seven days to die on Twitch. And they're all uh, game saves that have nothing to do with the YouTube uh, series. And, oh, hello there, sir. And um, what I want to try, though, is because the series we're playing on War of the Walkers in Season 1, where we continue working the building, I know I haven't actually shown a lot of progress in that in the last in the last couple of days, actually in over a week. Um, it's just simply because it takes always a lot of time. So because it takes me about two, 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 two and a half hours to uh, get one episode done. So I was thinking, do you know what? I know people on YouTube don't generally like um, the the streaming style with all the bells and whistles so what i can do is i can turn all the overlays off and just basically stream like and it will look like an episode like you know and that's it and you guys can join then and we can leave it in then as a vod on on youtube and that way i don't have to worry about uh, recording that as an extra content so i want to try if that is something we can do that would be pretty awesome where is that airdrop i can't see it it was here there we are blended in so let's see what it is Oh, nice! That is sweet. Oh, that is so sweet. And you know what? We're going to repair all of these at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to put the handle in. Look at this. This is amazing. What is the difference? Steering speed 300. Okay, I have a stupid zombie coming. Do I? No, okay. Because I want to focus on this for a second. So, steering wheel, 9,088 durability, max steering angle 11 degrees, braking 227, and max speed, steering speed 300. Meanwhile, this one is steering speed 200, it's a third, and degrees is lower as well, and braking is oh, light intensity 75, and this is light intensity 84. Nice. So, let's put that in, 
Let's put... We have HD mini bike wheels, but we're going to put these wheels in for the moment. And that way, we can repair all of that at the same time. There we go. And refuel it. And now if we go back into it, all of it should be fixed. Oh, except that. Damn it. Okay, so it took two anyway. So let's put the wheels back in. Ah, lady. I'm gonna kill you with the axe, because I need my mining to level up. <laughs> Leveling up mining on a zombie's foreface is, like, awesome. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, so that is that. All right, so let's sell things first. Let's hope we can sell this. Now, I think if we disassemble that, that would be better. Let's see what gun parts he actually has. He has full guns. But he has no gun parts. That, oh, he has one hunting rifle, but he has gun parts. But that would be good, because if we could oh, disassemble that, we still get the same... Oh, we can't. We still get the same money. But, um... Oh, does he have fragments? No. But, oh, that's the rebar frames he has. He has pole centers, does he? Oh, no, this pole centers. Does he have the 50s? Rebar frame, eighth center, quarters. Does he have the quarters? Let me see. Nah, he doesn't. And he doesn't have the 50, no. Okay, what about Secret Stash? Let me see what you have here. We already know that. We know that. Know that. Know that. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty sweet. It's very expensive, though. Okay, what are we wearing on in the moment? Actually, ours is 25 because we crafted it ourselves, so it's pretty shit. So we could sell that for 774 and then buy this one, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. So let's uh, sell everything. Seeing that we can't just assemble it, it's fine. Okay. 108. Let's sell these. Actually, let's sell these first and let's sell these first because they will level up our uh, bartering more. Come on. Uh, Summer Olympics on the Commodore 64. That's how we used to play. Press that button. And then hurdles. And then bam, jump. Bam, jump. And then the triple jump. Oh, my balls. And then the pool ball. We're like running. Oh, man. that I uh, remember that. I, you, you kind of... Uh, Get into that muscle twitch, you know. If you ever played these games, let me know in the comments. Like, you know, Commodore 64, Winter or Summer Olympics. You get yourself into that habit of being like this this twitch where you press so fast that it's just a muscle thing. You just tense your muscle and it goes... Like, really fast. It's unbelievable. Um, anyway. So, completely sidetracking. Nothing to do with anything. And sell that oh these guys these suits are awesome look at this that is 855 892 750 oh mine even these jeans are 190 and then we have another leather duster this leather duster here is 1000 and we have our armor here we go nice that is fantastic and then of course we have this which is now 600 boom Look at that, over 20,000. Nice. And then we can even sell some of these if we want to. They're 15 each. So we can make a lot of money selling these. Um, let's round it down to five uh, to 700. Just cause. Thanks for and how much is our here. battery? Come again. It's 87. Oh, my balls. And then we have Secret Stash. 32 points for the last one. Oh my lord, look at that. That would be another 500 bonus levels. Oh, that is insane. Okay, let's see if, if these class winning machines actually... Um, oh, so tempting to buy all of that. How do we get five? So, how much is that? See, it doesn't show the price, which is really annoying. So you have to divide that by five and then multiply by 25, I suppose, that or something like that. So let's see. We don't need the builder's workbench, but we need the tool workbench, which I don't have yet. But you know what? I want to buy all the iron. That's 4,000. We're going to come back to that. So let's just really quickly go through and see if there's any fragments. Um, oh, yeah. Secret stash. I don't think the secret stash had fragments. He's supposed to have fragments. I got just the thing for what's ailing. No. So I don't know which one we were at. Um, longbow schematic. Oh, longbow class only. Class only. I don't know which class, though. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, class only as well. And we don't have any of the completion of the classes. That is so annoying. That is so outright annoying that we don't have any of that. Okay, let me see here. Repair kits, that's 2,000. Holy balls. And bullet tips, shotgun ammo. Definitely, buy all the shotgun ammo. That's definitely something we want to do. And our other gun that we love is the 7.62 millimeters, I think. No, we don't have any of that. There we go. We buy all of these, absolutely. Oh, weaponsmithing. Yes, we're going to buy that. Can we read it right now? No, because our weapon smithing, I think, is nearly maxed out. It's at eight. So if we hit, when we hit level one hundred, we're gonna read these uh, books. Tool smithing, I don't want to uh, manually upgrade it. I also want to read the paper for it. Advanced tools, yes. Oh, but it's a tradesman's class. But we still need to buy that. And then we have the uh, mechanic magazine. I think we're at level eight as well with the mechanic. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that is it, the last two levels of Mechanic. Oh, I think I already had them actually at home. So yeah, we have to sell them again, I think. I'm afraid so. So nothing here, no battery bank. There was no battery bank, by the way, in the trader. I already checked. Um, so no shouting at me, please. But no battery bank here. No. Ah, uh, no recipe here. Nope. Oh, man. No, no, no. All right, guys, um, I think today we actually progressed a lot. Like uh, the tower took a little bit to figure out, so I'm sorry about that. But overall, I think we progressed quite nicely. So I'm gonna do a little bit of camera work on the towers to get them up to speed. And um, we're gonna have to go on a big grind, which I'm gonna do off camera as well for the stones. And oh, look at that, the light is a bit weak. I got my new light, I'm so happy about that. Look at that, nice, looking lovely. It's so hard during the day when the light fluctuates outside. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. All right, to finish this off, this is how we're going to connect the tower. So this is my plan anyway. Okay. So we have, first of all, on this side here, yeah, if you want to be able to carry a lot of weight, yeah, and you can't make scrap iron yet or whatever, yeah, don't use uh, concrete. Concrete can only have a max load of 120, unless the mod changes it, but by default it has 120. So upgrade this guy here, the wood that you're going to put a lot of weight on, to this level might be already having a max load of 320, but I'm not 100% sure. So upgrade at least to this level here. And that will be able to hold a uh, max load of uh, 320. Then I'm going to put my iron frames on it, uh, my iron bars on it. Because that's what I want. And then here I will connect um, these wood frames, which I'm going to upgrade uh, in a minute. And what I'm going to do is now, I hope this will work from a design perspective. I'm not actually 100% sure if it will. If not, we're going to use catwalk, so I'm not really too concerned. So we do this, and you know the way when you put three beside each other um, like this, i show you here. If you do this, you see the way it becomes one big massive one. So what I'm going, what my plan is, is to have this one here, and hopefully it will, it's not dynamic. Oh my balls, it's not dynamic. Ah, oh, I really wish the, the phone pimps would make all of these interact dynamically. That would be so awesome. Because now I'm going to have to destroy that. There you go. And I'm going to have to put a normal catwalk down instead. Which is fine. It just looks a little bit weird. And anyway, so we're going to put the catwalk down. And then here, we have this. Look at this. Nice. And that's how we're going to connect them. So let's put these guys here. Nice. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. 